Well, you know, like you don't think environmental disasters are going to occur because what are the chances? Well, the thing is, given long enough time, you are going to have an environmental disaster occur every so often. And to have a safe population, a genetically sound population of a particular fish in a pond like this, this is like biological gold. We're keeping some species of fish alive and just waiting just in case we need them. Welcome to part three of EnviroTube. Once again, we're going to be looking at more pools turned into ponds, mature pools, not ones that were just done five minutes ago. The diversity of this program is astounding, and you're going to be amazed as, as you see different pools, you're going to see different ideas, different people's personalities, but the one thing they have in common, they're easy and they're great for the environment. I can just see so many fish. This is one of the pools that we actually set up as a biobank. One of the things I like doing is looking at the fish as I walk around. And the fish in this pool slash pond are very special. They've been given to us from isolated areas of Australia. They're distinct species, hardy heads, for example. Unusual fish found in unusual places. Now, what's the point of that? What happens is if for some reason some person manages to tip a truckload of dioxin in this river or creek and kills all the fish, so instead of saying, oh, well, we just lost that complete population of fish, we're just going to have to start again, uh, you know, evolutionary, so see you in three million years' time. What well, we've got a viable population of these fish in this pool. So it's actually like a, a reservoir, it's a biobank. And it's something that a resident can do in the middle of Sydney and be part of a much bigger environmental conservation project. A lot of people who turn their swimming pool into a pond, they're worried about big trees that they have around their pool. And they're thinking, it's going to drop so many leaves and branches, it's just going to be a complete menace, it's going to stop me from doing it. Well, let me put those fears to rest. Just to my left is a massive pine tree. It drops pine needles like they're going out of fashion, probably kilos a year. And yet this pond is one of the best ponds of its type. The plants are doing brilliantly, the fish are doing brilliantly, and there is this monster tree to my left. This tree, it's, it's not just a little one, this one has been there for many, many years and is dropping a lot of needles, a lot of uh, pine cones. But it's not a problem, so you, you don't have to go and empty your swimming pool uh, of all the needles. That's just part of nature. I mean, do you ever see anyone sort of in the bush go out with a vacuum cleaner and clean up a billabong? You're never gonna see that. And that's what happens here. This is just part of the natural cycle. Uh, insects are breaking down that organic matter. Uh, other insects are living off those insects. Birds come and eat those insects. Ducks come and eat everything. You've got just a fantastic ecosystem. And to worry about a big tree, I think, is to worry about something that doesn't need worrying about. It's just such a beautiful pond. For me, the exciting part of this is the coverage of the Eleocaris. I mean, have you ever seen a a plant take over a swimming pool like this before. And there's a subtlety, there's a subtlety to all of this. Like this Eleocaris, when you look at it, it's like a mat of green. But when you really look at it, all of a sudden you notice that it's flowering. It's got these fantastic little flowers. Now I'm just looking for the Uticularia here. There's lots of it here. The Uticularia, it's growing, just growing between the uh, Eleocaris. Okay, just here, you can see it. Just floating on the surface. It's a nice floating plant. And once you get 25, 30% coverage of your pool with a plant, the water becomes crystal clear. It's like it's bubbling out of some sort of fantastic spring. In fact, if you didn't know better, you'd ring up one of these uh, mineral water companies and try and flog it to them. That's how good the water is. These plants are born for planking, don't you think? It, they are so solid, it's like a mass, an absolute mass. Where are you going to find this in suburbia? Where are you going to find this in the back of an ordinary yard. You're just not going to. This is environmental heaven. We've got a viable population of these fish in this pool. This means that if the worst happens, we can help. So imagine there you are in the city, you're just minding your own business, enjoying your beautiful pond and being part of a much bigger conservation picture. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we enjoyed making it. Look forward to seeing you next time.